lay out your case for Microsoft. You raise your price target today. You're seeing more than 20 percent further upside, even after the stock has certainly been, performed very well, trading now above a 30 uh, forward P.E. Excellent. So thank you for having me. And generally, I agree with the, the earlier guest, Warren. Um, numbers have to move for the stocks to move higher. And we think Microsoft has real catalyst to moving uh, numbers higher. And it comes from their positioning in generative AI. Uh, what we did in our report today is we created a framework for understanding what type of revenues can come behind these generative AI products. And Microsoft wins in two ways. They have both the picks and shovels in terms of stuff like Azure OpenAI services, where companies are today building out the next generation of applications based on this generative AI technology. But then they also have uh, the applications themselves, the gold miners, if you will, um, stuff like Copilot for GitHub. We expect Copilot for Office 365 and Microsoft 365 to roll out shortly. With these catalysts on the horizon uh, driving new revenues, and I think upside in revenues to people's expectations, that's what's really going to take Microsoft on the next leg is moving estimates higher. And we moved our estimates higher as well. Yeah, how, how much of a, of a mover of the needle are those incremental revenues across its enterprise software area? It feels as if uh, people feel like it long term, this is going to be an important component, but how do you quantify it? Yeah, so there's different frameworks for uh, quantifying different parts of, of the equation. Uh, the first mover is likely to be the picks and shovels, if you will, right? That's Azure OpenAI services. Um, and that's going to come through an acceleration of the applications that people are building on top of that platform. You're already seeing today really good indications of an affinity towards Azure OpenAI services. We recently ran a CIO survey. 27% of CIOs said they are looking to build on Azure OpenAI services in the next 12 months. So that should be the near-term op opportunity. The framework for looking at applications is really an installed base argument. Microsoft has some really large installed bases. When we're talking about Office commercial, there's close to 500 million Office commercial users. So it doesn't take a lot of penetration to move the needle. We think these are going to be high value, uh, relatively high price point services. Uh, we expect about 20% penetration into that Office commercial base over the next two years. And that can accrue on the application side of the equation. We, we have a base case of close to a $20 billion ad in terms of application revenues by FY25. That's Microsoft's fiscal year. All right, and all of that uh, you're saying uh, justifies the stock getting up to 4.15 a share would be uh, above the three trillion dollar market cap uh, level if we got there. Uh, Keith, thanks a lot. Appreciate you laying that out for us.